So I wanted to share another book. Everybody likes um, learning electronics, and the way that I did it was reading lots of books. And I've, I've read comments on other videos I've done, and, and people also have talked about, talked about this book. And um, it is linear, it's, so it's National Semiconductor Linear Applications Data Book. And this one is from 1986. I think the first one I ever had was 1980, something like that. Um, I think even Radio Shack sold these in certain versions. But um, yeah, this one this one has an interesting mark on the on the cover here. It's from HP Lab, so um, somehow somehow it followed me home. So. Um, this was great for learning op amps and there's so inside of the book there's lots of app notes each each app note has a number a n app note this one's 255 here's a uh, app note 82 and they're usually very specific things um how to do specific things you can learn a lot from uh, just perusing these things but I wanted to point out two particular things. I'm going to put a link down below. I found one of these in PDF online, so you can, you can take a look at it. But um, App Note 20, AN20. Uh, this is an applications guide for op amps. And it goes through normal um, configurations of op amps and why you might want to do this. And it's very, very terse. Um, there's not much writing. But it does tell you all the all the simple ones: differentiator, uh, difference amplifier, summing amplifier, doing different things. So anyway, App Note 20. But the one um, that I spent untold hours staring at was uh, Application Note 31. <laughs> application Note 31. Now there's no words. Okay. So there's no explanation. So this is not great to start with. This is good as a inspiration for your, your circuit. So you can look over each one of this and say, oh yeah, oh, I didn't think about doing it that way, right? And each one does a different thing. And it's actually quite a long, quite a long uh, app note. There's lots and lots and lots of different, lots and lots of different, uh, different circuits. So AN, and 31 has a lot, a lot of, uh, a lot of circuits. They might be good to, to learn from. Uh, once you've learned it from maybe a textbook and stuff, come here and start looking at a few and say, oh, that's why they did it that way. Or I wonder why, I wonder why this one has that three picofarad capacitor in there. What's that three picofarad capacitor? That does nothing. Why, why is it in there? Right. Um, and, um, yeah. So, Again, you know, read books. You're going to learn a lot from books. Um, and uh, this was this was definitely a classic. Yeah, raise your hand if you, uh, if you had a blue book or you still have one. That's probably a better question. Do you still have one? <laughs> Thank you.